everyone, it is Cyberverse, and welcome back to another episode of Boom Age. And I just gotta say, ever since the last video that I made, we actually filled up quite nicely. We still got two slots remaining. We actually got YOLO, which has a little bit less than a thousand victory points joining in. That's really great. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for joining in. You guys are really, really awesome. And even Captain, that one guy with no sculptor, joined in my task force. That's just awesome. And welcome so much for, and thank you so much for joining in captain i'm actually as a matter of fact going to tell them right now say hi to youtube so that way they're going to be getting somewhat of a shout out uh but today i am in a dilemma i'm in a huge 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 dilemma and i need you to help me out on this conquest of dilemma -ness because what you're seeing over here is a resource reward 47 percent that is 50% is the best one out there. So this one's really good. It's freaking awesome. It's better than my old one, which I think was like 40% or so. So I'm happy to see this. But at the same time, I'm a little bit upset. And I have no idea what to do with this one. So please help me on this one. Help me out on this one. So what you're seeing over here is home is defended. I'm actually defending quite nicely. And that is because of my eye statues. And I don't want to get rid of them. Because these are actual defenses that we defended against. And we got ourselves over 50 diamonds in the last 24 hours because of that. So that's why I want to be keeping my eye statues. I got, I got four eye statues right now. And I actually want to be getting a fifth one. But I'm not sure about it. But as you guys can see, a building of 10%. Uh, my masterpiece, 31%. Over here, we got <clears throat> another 10%. And over here we have a 27%. So I want to be get I want to be keeping these. And this and this one over here is actually hoping hopefully getting a tree in front of it. Or maybe we can place this one right there. No, that doesn't really seem to be working out. Um, where did I have you placed? Actually, I can load up my old. Uh, I can load up my old one. Load. There we go. Look at that. That's the same location. Okay. Anyway, I want to know what I should be getting rid of or. If this one is good enough or not. It's 47%. It's really awesome. I'm going to be set up, setting up a straw poll. So please go vote right now. The statues I potentially want to be getting rid of. Is a gunboat energy 16%. It leaves me with a, a one more gunboat energy 16%. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. Or my power stone chance 70%. Now I am doing well in power powder. But I need to attack more in order to maintain my power powder. So... Let me know in the comments what your thoughts and your opinions are. Should I be keeping this? Should I be getting rid of something? Should I just exchange this into power powder? It's all up to you guys, okay? So these guys said the hi. Uh, make sure to give this video a boom. <laughs> a thumbs up. That's really funny. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, guys. You are amazing. So right now the way it is, my task force, we, we got two slots remaining. The entry requirement, the victory medals or the vi medals that you need in order to join in is lower for 24 hours. But we still expect you to get at least like 40 into on a weekly basis. So that's the way it works out. So what we're here for today after this really long intro is trying to beat Dr. Terror obviously. Because uh, Dr. Terror is a lot of fun and it is the, um, it is the volcano edition today. So, I'm gonna be boosting up, uh, I'm gonna go full boost and see if I can take it out with just this. Having no diamonds whatsoever. Hopefully not a single recharge or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna be making my circle on the map and see what we're going to be getting. Three diamonds, it puts us at ten. And then, is there another one that's gonna be interesting? Is there another one? There should be two because... I haven't been online in like 8 hours. I cannot seem to find a second one. No, it doesn't seem like it's there. Okay. Anyway, enough about that. I got 10 diamonds to recharge my troops if it's really necessary. Otherwise, I'm in tough luck. But, let's see how well we're going to be doing here. Dropping critters over here. Critters over there. Artilleries. Pew, 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 pew. And boom. There goes stair stage number one. If you want to be attacking this, you can go from the right side. Uh, just make sure you shock the boom cannon. And we got ourselves a prototype module there. Very nice stuff. And we're going to be going on. You look so creepy, dude. This volcano may be dormant, but my terror turret spit fire at your puny troops. You look so freaking creepy, man, terror. Like, I used to like the way you used to look. If that makes any sense. Like, 
You really used to look a lot better in your old day, you know. You, you became uh, a grumpy old man right now for some odd reason. I don't really understand what happened, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe some bad luck. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Okay, let's actually make our way up to the uh, headquarters over here. Pew, 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 pew. And it's actually taking down the other buildings as well, which is convenient. Oh, there you go. Terror stage number two is gone. You should be going straight in the middle and then take it out that way. I don't even know what I'm talking about today. I'm pretty hyped up because a little bit later today, you guys will be getting the quest to top 50. And maybe two other Boom Beach episodes. Uh, no, actually, this is one of the other Boom Beach episodes. I shouldn't confuse myself. Um, this one. How do you attack this one? Left side. You can actually avoid this machine gun fairly easily by uh, dropping a flare uh, a little bit left from this sniper tower over there. That way, uh, units are going to be attacking this sniper tower and this cannon over here. Go from this crystal solution to the bunker and then to the supplies that make their way up to the headquarters. It's a fairly easy base to take down, even if you're lower level. So let's actually go ahead and do this. But, you know, seeing as I'm like a little bit higher level, I'm going to be doing it the fancy way. And that is just dropping critters all over the place and taking it down that way because that's how we roll in the wonderful land of Boom Beach. Let's actually get some more critters in there and uh, get some warriors over here at the right and at the left to uh, take care of some supply crates. Getting more of that energy. And there we go. There goes down terror stage number three without uh, even really trying. Barrage. Getting rid of my own critters. Oh, suicide. Kamikaze. There we go. Uh, there's still like 7 survivors or 9. I didn't even really count how much critters I still got left on here. But we're going to be advancing onto Terror Stage number 4. And let's see how you can take this one out. So, this one's a little bit trickier. Because um, you might want to be going for the supplies. Um, what you want to be doing is, I think, drop a barrage around these mines. And hopefully getting rid of, of some of the cannons or something like that. And then make your way straight through it. Uh, with Happy Zooka, this is definitely possible. Um, you could even go with only Rifleman. But make sure you actually disable this uh, rocket launch over here. And those mines can be rather deadly. So you definitely want to be taking those into consideration. For the sake of showing you guys how this is going to be done, I'm going to show you guys my way of using the warriors against this base. So I'm going to deploy my warriors right here. That way we're going to be both going to those supply crates over here, um, directing them all together with the flare. And then from that point on, I'm dropping a shock on that and then making my way up to the boom cannon by using a shock my warriors are high level so i don't need to worry about the mines right now because they're pretty low level at this stage but as you guys can see they actually do a quite quite a bit of damage so be careful around that so what i like to do is actually do a energy exchange over here um but yeah we should be good to go i think we're not really going to be losing any warriors whatsoever with this attack so there you go very classic and clean takeout on this dr terror stage number four Gonna be moving on to terror stage number 5, there's where the difficulty really starts to spike up quite a bit. And oh wow, I'm so lucky, another prototype module, a power rod, that's actually power rods are the ones that I need the most. I need, I only have 5 of them, so yeah, power rod, very happy with that. Terror stage number 5, so uh, okay, let's actually go into scout mode first, because this one's pretty interesting to, to take a look at. So, what you're seeing over here at the back, well, it zoomed down pretty quickly, but um, you see this location over here? You're able to get 21 energy with just a single barrage. You might want to be taking that one into consideration. Do not deploy critters there. It's going to be taken down by the machine gun. Now, how do you take this stair stage out? It's a really tough one. A lot of people are going to be stranding here, but if you have the warriors, then it should be pretty straightforward. Um, the first checkpoint should probably be... This machine gun, make sure you actually do uh, drop smokes appropriately so that way you don't really die off too fast. But um, these rocket launchers, this shock launcher over here is definitely a pest. You can, with heavy Zooka, take out the shock launcher. It is really low level, so you shouldn't have too many issues here. But be careful of these rocket launchers over there because if you're using Zookas, these rocket launchers are your worst enemies. So uh, take that into consideration. As far as pathing goes, it's gonna be a tough one because there's a lot of dense, there's a lot of strong defenses. So my recommendation on this one is either tanks and medics, uh, or scorcher and tanks. 
or of course the warriors so that is one way of doing it now i'm gonna be following my own advice here i'm going to be getting a barrage right around between the crystal solution and the supplies that feels like a secure spot down there to uh accumulate everything as you guys can see we're getting everything with the exception of the bunker which kind of sucks but that's okay now we need to drop another barrage here S but we can also drop some critters let me just go with the critter way here there we go that looks really awesome very nicely done critters i thank you for clearing that out and as far as this one goes um let's see we want to be placing one smoke right at the edge over here so that way it kind of like sticks out that is the first smoke and the second smoke on the machine gun and then uh we're just gonna walk up there and i'm just gonna see if i need another smoke yes i do right here so three smokes to make it up there we're gonna be getting hit that's a little bit unfortunate but we should be good to go oh what no, no, this goes the wrong way, guys. This goes the wrong way. Quickly adapt to the situation, so that way you make your way up there regardless. We did lose a couple of warriors here and there, but we're still good. Swift responses, wow. I was just messing around a little bit too much there. As far as shocks go, um, I should be pretty obvious. One over here and one over here. Getting those buildings all the way down. Wow, that was, that was kind of a, a tough spot there, but we uh, managed to squeeze out the victory regardless. Wow. Uh, three smokes in the front there. Don't make the same mistake that I did. This shock launch over here is pretty deadly. But yeah, that actually removes quite a bit of force that I cannot really rebuild immediately. That kind of sucks. Let's see what we can remake right now. I think these longer ones. Six. Four. Um, yeah, let's just do it that way. Six over here, and then four over here. And uh, let's move on to terror stage number six. Okay, stage six. Get some critters in here at the top. Definitely worth it, if you ask me. This boom can is not even reaching. And if you actually get these critters... I'm not going to try out something here in a second. I'm going to show it off to you guys. What you want to be doing here is... Warriors, warriors is for sure because look at these rocket launchers They're gonna be doing a ton of damage onto your zukas and I'm not sure how well your warriors are How well your zuka uh, heavies are gonna be surviving here um, I think you actually might be able to pull it off But um, you gotta be dropping a shock right in the center here so that way um, They don't hit the zukas so be careful with that uh, For the warriors you want to be hugging the wall the first checkpoint is going to be the supplies over here or you can make it a sniper tower up to what you find most comfortable. Uh, I personally really just want to hug the wall very uh, early on. And then, way, and then from there you want to be, um, I don't know, going to the mortar I suppose. And then make your way up to the headquarters. It's a fairly easy run down here. But let's try out this uh, fun thing with the critters that I got in mind here. So I wanted to drop my critters right around here. Because they're going to be surrounding the crystal solution. Nothing's going to be hitting it. And then they're going to be walking right there. And then from there, I'm hoping that they're going to be going. They're splitting a little bit. That is fine. I don't mind. So we got four critters taking out everything down here. So that is really awesome. That puts me in a great position. Actually gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 30 gunboat energy for the price of 8. Best exchange in the wild I've seen. So I'm going to be making my way up there. One smoke. Two smoke. Should be good enough. You're going to be getting hit for a little bit. But look at this. The damage is very min minimal. Then from here, walking your way up to the... Uh, up to the uh, mortar. And then it should be an easy run. One. Two. And then we're there. Yes. And how are the critters going? They're doing awesome. Getting one medkit in. Essentially, I just um, want to be getting rid of uh, heavy hitters and such. So we're getting in a lot of uh, medics, medkits, and some critters there to distract the overall uh, the last amount of units. And there you go, took it down. Pretty easy one. We did lose some force there because of the cannons, and I don't know if there was a boom cannon or not, but yeah. 
We did this one pretty nicely. We lost four warriors there. And I'm really curious to know whether or not I'm going to be able to take down this Dr. Terror. That's going to be a, a tough one over here. But in the meantime, how much do we need? We need 2.2 million resources to upgrade this one. And I actually want to swap this boom cannon with this one. There. And yeah, that seems to be good to me. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah... That boom cannon over there was always the first target. And now I think people are going to be targeting this one first on my defenses. That's just my strategy for my base. Okay, terror stage number 7. What do we face here? Um, okay, so you want to be saving your barrage for the headquarters. Because if you drop a barrage, it's going to be using up energy. And essentially you're going to be uh, spending more in the long run. So that is one thing to take into consideration for sure um what you do want to be doing i think it feels like it's going to be a fair exchange drop an artillery here getting um getting three buildings for the cost of three energy that is a really great exchange there you go so how do the warriors run here as far as heavy zuka goes i think you will be able to make this one out here as well because um if you just shock everything that you need to shock that's on your way you should be able to take this one out really easily, actually. Now, how am I going to be walking here is going to be the big question. I think I'm going to be um, dropping some critters over here to get rid of that. And hopefully taking out this... Yes, crystal! Oh, that's so close. And then I think I'm going to be dropping a single artillery right here to take out those mines and then from this uh, then we're gonna be hitting the boom mine I suppose that's okay then from this uh, um, what's it called this uh, machine gun making our way up there there we go very nice we're getting some damage but that is okay we can stand it at least for now then some smokes to make our way up there yes we walked into the boom mine I'm fully aware of that it kind of sucks cannot do anything about that Mines, how well are you going to be doing? Not going to be wiping out my force, so that is okay. Now, shocking. Just shock what I'm shocking over here. Should be good to go. And, um... Critters. Distract what you need to distract. This is going to be pretty close. I have some force gone. Uh, so, I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking this one out. If anything, I kind of think... No. No, so close. Oh my god, look at this. What the heck? If I had all of my warriors, we would have taken it down really easily. I, I should have probably waited with the shock uh, to take it out. But you guys see, um, you guys saw how you can take out this Dr. Terror. I don't want to re-show you guys how to take it out. Because obviously it was so close and I had like 10 warriors not on my landing craft. So obviously uh, I'm going to be taking it out regardless. So... That being said, I'm just going to be wrapping this episode off here. I hope that you guys enjoyed what you saw. Make sure, as always, to, if you guys like this video, to, boom, give it a thumbs up. I'm so bad with outros today. Uh, but that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. Make sure you tune in a little bit later today for another quest to the top 50. If you guys got any troop suggestion, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.